This is our planet. To most people, it is something that has always been here, and will continue to always be here. However, this may possibly not be the case. One day, in the very far future, more than 5 billion years from now, sun will start to reach its end, affecting the earth and everybody on it. But there's a possibility none of the human race might not even be here to witness it. Maybe we're all, all exterminated, maybe aliens invaded, most likely the earth might just get too hot to even sustain human life. The main question is, if humans are still around, will we and can we survive the sun's death? Our sun is currently like a middle-aged man, done with its juvenile years and is regularly pumping out energy from nuclear fission. In around 1.2 billion years, the sun will begin to change. The hydrogen in its core will start to run out, and the sun will start to use helium instead, raising the average temperature from 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 167, causing the Earth's oceans to boil away and, the vo and void the world of life as we know it. The whole planet will become a desert, and the mountains will start melting away. In 5 to 8 billion years, the sun will run out completely of hydrogen and will switch to consuming unstable helium. This will make it swell to an enormous ball in the sky, known as a red giant. This will probably consume the earth, and if not, it will have beforehand melted into a ball covered with oceans of nothing but molten lava, a place no life could ever exist. When the sun does grow massive and becomes a red giant, it will eat up Mercury, Venus, and most likely the earth before it becomes a white dwarf. The problem is that even before the earth is overtaken by the sun, as said before, the temperature will have gotten so high already that it could have melted the earth and everybody on it. So, how do humans survive? When the temperature gets too hot, we may have to turn to living underground or even moving to a new planet. But even with that, there are issues, like how will we move underground and what planet will we move to? But keep in mind that this is also billions of years later. The only chance we would have of staying on the Earth past the situation would be that we would have to hope that before the sun engulfs us, it starts to lose its gravitational pull, hopefully letting us escape in another direction before the sun gets to us. Hopefully one of these things happens, or the humans, extinct, or the humans may be looking at their extinction as we know it. The bottom line, there's a very unlikely chance the Earth will survive the sun's death. There's an even more unlikely chance humans will remain on Earth until the sun's death. From here, where could we go? It's still uncertain. However, remember, the sun is not scheduled to die until 5 billion years from now. So it won't affect us at all. But, but Earth will still be our home, and will we be able to protect it, or is it doomed to oblivion? Five billion years, three million years, one hundred years, or just long enough until this video ends. That's right, five billion years. The earth will turn into a desert. The earth will explode. The earth will be knocked off its orbit. The sea levels will rise. Yep, the earth will turn into a desert. A white dwarf, a black hole, a red giant, or a green nebula. A red giant is next. The sun loses its gravitational pull, causing Earth to go in a different direction. There is no way for the Earth to survive. The sun will not consume us. Giant asteroids can deflect the sun. The first one, the sun loses its gravitational pull, causing Earth to go in a different direction. 100 degrees, 50 degrees, 200 degrees, or 167 degrees. 167 degrees.